Stockholm, Sweden, June 12, 1972. Mrs. Indira Gandhi, Prime Minister of India, arrived today to address the first United Nations Conference on the Human Environment. It is clear that the environmental crisis which is confronting the world will profoundly alter the future destiny of our planet. No one amongst us, whatever our status, strength or circumstance, can remain unaffected. We are facing a planetary emergency that has been generations in the making. One that threatens the future of life as we know it. The climate crisis, the biodiversity and nature crisis, the pollution and waste crisis. We must act together before we reach the point of no return. But we know what needs to be done. For 50 years, UNEP has been working with the global community to safeguard the environment. Experience shows us that inclusive multilateralism is more effective than going it alone. We came together to protect the ozone layer with the Montreal Protocol, which was in danger of collapsing by the mid-21st century, but is now on track to return to pre-1980s levels by the 2060s. With the Minamata Convention, the international community agreed to phase out mercury, and in 2020, a global ban on the trade of most mercury-added products came into force. In the 1990s, UNEP realized the importance of integrating sustainability into the global finance sector. Now, UNEP Finance Initiative's members include over 365 banks, insurers, and investors working with governments to invest in a sustainable future. Countries are cooperating like never before to stop the trade in endangered species. And since its inception, no CITES listed species has ever become extinct as a result of trade. As we look towards a post-pandemic future, emissions and temperatures continue to rise and we must rise to the challenge to protect people and planet. 50 years of experience has shown us that when we work together, we can make change. It is possible.